Today I'm with a new Hyundai i20 N-Line. Uh, I think three weeks ago or one month ago, I did review the new Hyundai i20 2022 N and performance and this time i have with me the n line so there are a few difference between n performance and n line and in this video i try to also explain you i'm really really happy because i have with me also the n performance car and here i have the n line so i can show you a little bit the difference on the exterior of the car and i can explain you also the difference between those two but before we start with the video i will give you the technical data in this video i will make the review exterior interior you will find out everything about this new hyundai i20 n-line 2022 model so before we start the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys don't forget to like it we are here in switzerland at parisi automobile i will leave also the link in the description if you want to see the car if you want to test it if you want to uh, buy it if you are around switzerland just check them out because they have great price and by the way if you tell them you see my video you come from me they will make you a discount so try that the version that i have with me here as i said before it's i20 n line it comes with a one liter petrol engine tgdi with 48 volt mild hybrid batteries you have two version you can get also the one liter petrol engine without mild hybrid battery but that will have only 100 horsepower this one the version with mild hybrid battery will have 120 horsepower 200 newton meters so much more powerful i will explain you that also later so the starting price of the car uh, will be 30,300 francs also you can add this n-line lux package will cost you 2,600 francs also you can add the lac to the color 600 francs then the final price will be 33,500 francs but because always at parisi automobile you have a discount I don't know why but <laughs> almost all the car no matter if it's new or old they have great price and great discounts and you have 2000 francs discount the final price will be 31500 francs discount so if you want to buy it check them out guys also it comes with independent mcpherson suspension in the front in the back semi independent suspension also this version that i have it with me today it comes with 17 inch rims they look just fabulous guys i will explain you also as we go outside also i will show you all the options on the car before we go forward so yeah guys i guess let's go outside let me show you the i20 and performance let me show you the the exterior of the uh, end line and i will show you also the exterior of a normal uh, i20 so yeah let's go outside guys before we start the review with the new hyundai i20 end line let's talk a little bit about the end performance and also i have right there with me one normal i20 i will show you also later the normal version first of all let's start with the exterior a little bit i don't want to make the video too long but i still want to show you that so if you look from the back design the end line and the end performance look very similar the only difference is the exhaust pipe you can see there it's kind of round and here it has it's it's split in two but other than that the bumper it's very very similar it's just actually i should say it's the same then if you look also from the back you will see the bigger difference right here on the exterior is the roof spoiler where here you have the normal roof spoiler it still looks sporty and nice but if you go to the end performance you will see that you have this aggressive sporty rally uh, spoiler up here that looks really interesting and to be honest I like it now uh, other than that the back of the cars look very very similar the only big difference exhaust pipes and also uh, up here you will have this spoiler then of course if we talk about the engine about the power of course the end performance come with 204 horsepower 304 newton meters and so on so in terms of power this is a beast i mean the way it's drive it's crazy if you want to see the the test drive i already have the video on my channel check it out guys if you want to see the test drive with the end line will come soon i will do it today a little bit later uh, and will come on the channel just click the subscribe button to see also that video when it will come out uh, uh, then the second difference between those two are the rims you can see the rims 
to the end performance. You can see the rims uh, to the end line. Those are 18 inch rims from, from the end. End line have 17 inch. But yeah, in my opinion, the 18 inch look better. But yeah, they are reasonable. They look also good on 17. Really good, really good. The car look really, really good. Then if we go down here, you will see it has the same plastic down here, same skirt, I should say, but it doesn't have any N logo here, where on the N performance, you will have this N logo and this red insertion. But other than that, it's very similar. I like that plastic because it protects down, down part. Of course, the price of this car, 33,000. 450 the price on the end line you already see it in the beginning of the video uh, and if you go in the front i don't know if you can see it so well but the bumper it's also very similar it's kind of have the same same bumper in the front same bumper same front design uh, now the only difference is that uh, you have this red insertion on the end and another difference is the end logo here where there is the end line and here on the logo you can see you can fit in your fingers because it doesn't come with a radar uh, for adaptive cruise control smart cruise control and all that stuff but the end line come with i will show you later yeah those are the exterior design uh, difference other than that the lights are similar led lights here led lights there and i go inside the car you can see right here uh, the color the seats those are the end seats sporty seats super aggressive with leather awesome blue insertion blue stitches you have the steering wheel with the buttons i explain you also in the full review video uh, and then the gear shifter other than that let's go there there you have red stitches and yeah it's a little bit different you will see it a little bit later i will show you red stitches the same steering wheel without those buttons uh, and also you have the end line seats yeah kind of a difference anyway guys this is the difference between those two other than that the cars look just fabulous both of them they are crazy hyundai in the last years just step up the game again a lot and I love the car and anyway guys I don't want to make the video too long uh, let me start the, the review with the end line and then uh, yeah we will talk about the car so let's do it guys so let's start our review guys here is the key I like very much this chrome design on the key it's pretty awesome uh, the key it's simple all you can do lock the car and unlock the car also uh, it comes with electronic folding mirrors you can see right here when you unlock the car you can see the, the mirrors uh, then also the car come with keyless entrance you have this button right here that when you press it you lock the car and when you come here you can have the key in your pocket just press it unlock the car very simple also what i notice uh, also on the new uh, hyundai i20 is the quality of the doors you can hear it when you close the door the quality it's very good and also i like this handle it's, it's quite nice uh, other than that let me turn on the lights i will leave the key here because you already see what you can do with the key and also i will turn on the engine by the way i like the fact that the car come with uh, aluminum pedals they look awesome i mean the aluminum pedals are incredible nice let me turn on the fog lamps because i want to show you also the fog lamp and let's go to the exterior uh, the exterior design uh, as i said before it's very similar with the end performance a little bit of changes here and there it's kind of a combination between the normal version of hyundai i20 and uh, hyundai i20 and performance in my opinion for me personally this will be the best option because I don't need so much power, uh, but I, I want the car to look good, to look sporty, uh, to look aggressive. And this car is the perfect combination between those two. And I like very much the lines, the futuristic lines from Hyundai. If you look closely, you can see on the doors, uh, same as the new Tucson, Hyundai come with uh, a few improvements in terms of exterior design and i love i love those lines look at this line down here under the door look look these sharp edges it's so nice so nice and also here and also you have there in the front really interesting and on the small cars like that in this class they look nice i mean one of the most uh one of the nicest car in this class in my opinion now if you look in the back here look at the exhaust pipes and also they sound 
you can hear that sound how nice they sound pretty aggressive love that sound love that sound and also when you drive the car you can hear that interesting aggressive sound i like very much here in the back uh, the way they design uh, the bumper down here it's really interesting really aggressive i like the fog lamp down here led lights on the fog lamp in the middle also the lines look good uh, if you look at the number plate guys you don't have led light you have normal bolt light on the number plate that's something to keep in mind but you can change it very simply but other than that uh, yeah pretty much nice design on the bumper also the car come with six sensors those are for the um, uh, blind spot technology in the mirror and here are for the parking sensors and also the car come with a reverse camera that it's right here under the logo and you have kind of a fake light bar here in the back and then uh, you have the i20 logo uh, on this side then when you talk about the lights you can see that Hyundai keep the, the tradition, I should say. Uh, I don't know why, why Hyundai, why? Why you have bulb light on the blinkers? I don't know, why is that? I don't understand. But still, uh, you have LED lights on the, on the tail light and it looks really good in the nighttime. So even if you look from the, from the distance, I think this is the only thing that I should change on this car, the bulb light. I wish it was LED light. Anyway, other than that, big window in the back, great visibility, tinted window. Uh, it's combined very nice with this glossy black plastic here, glossy black plastic also on the roof spoiler on the upper side. Here you have the brake light, the radio antenna, it's nice in glossy black plastic, the same as all the roof, it's in black, uh, pretty nice. Also, we have i20 logo here uh, on the tail lights. Now, let me go on the other side because it's more sunny and you can see it better uh i like this roof spoiler as i said before really aggressive really nice and not only that it looks nice and sporty but also protect the down part of the car it protected the paint so the car will last longer so uh if i had a normal one uh 120 i20 i will install one of these for the for the safety and for the protection anyway nice design on the doors I like them, I like the doors very much. I like also the tinted windows here in the back. Also some kind of black uh, rubber here around the windows. The handle look nice even in the back here. Also they sound good when you close the door. Look at the handles, quite, quite nice. Really interesting. Uh, going to the mirror, you have huge mirrors. Blind spot technology in the corner there. Nice, interesting design in black design, quite aerodynamic. Uh, end line logo of course here on the side and then going in the front uh, let me talk about uh, the camera here you have a camera and here you have the sensors uh, those sensors are for the light for the raining and the camera it's for uh, lane assist uh, reading the traffic speed limits uh, and also it helps uh, the smart cruise control that uh, work together with the radar that's here behind the, the logo the hyundai logo behind here it's a radar uh, that helped the car keep the distance uh, keep between the lanes and accelerate emergency brake and all that safety features uh, other than that look how aggressive is the hood nice lines on the hood quite quite uh, sharp sharp edges here interesting beautiful let's go to the lights i like the lights in the front LED lights on the on the blinker this time. Great job, Hyundai. LED lights on the daylight. And also we have LED lights for the high beam and the low beam. That's a good thing. The only thing is in the front, the fog lamps are normal light. You can see they are yellow. No LED there. But other than that, it's quite cool. I like the grill. It's much nicer than the normal version. Uh, it's, it's the same grill as you have it on the end. Uh, but I like it. It looks good. You have the end line here. Here you have some air intakes uh, and they are kind of real. I don't know if can, I can show you on the other side. Maybe there you can see it better. They are quite real. So the air really go inside here and go outside around there. So pretty much it looks gorgeous. I mean, the, 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 the bumper in the front look really aggressive and nice. You have six sensors in the front. Those are for the blind spot technology and those are for the parking. So yeah a lot of technology nice design i like it i had it before the normal version 
uh, of the i20, the, the previous version of the car, and it was really good. I make some long trips with it, and it's a great car. Now, let's talk about the rims, 18-inch rims, Hancock tires. They look good, the tires. You can see 17-inch here, 215, 45, 17. Uh, ventilated brake discs in the front. They're kind of rusty because the car was staying in rain a lot of time. And down here you have some kind of rubber that protect the rims. Also the rims are alloy wheels, alloy rims and logo here. They look good. They look really good with the car. I don't know about you, but uh, they fit nice. They fit nice with the car. Now guys, also on the left side, on the driver's side, you will have the tank. Here's the petrol tank, 40 liters if I remember well. Uh, and I want to show you also the engine. The engine is running right now. And also I will actually stop it. It comes also with a start-stop engine button down here. I will stop the lights as well. And open the frunk. Yeah. And here's the frunk. It's very silent, the engine, as I said before. Also, you have a manual lift gate here. Uh, and here is the engine. One liter petrol engine. TGDI Turbo Smart Stream G. Latest technology from Hyundai. Three cylinders in line, 120 horsepower because it has that 48 volt mild hybrid battery in the back under the trunk. And here you have the 12 volt battery, fuse box, air filter. Here you have the liquid cooling and other stuff. The same as the Bion, it looks really similar. Even the hood, it's very similar uh, as the Hyundai Bion. If you didn't see that review, guys, check out on the channel. I already have it there. I like very much the way it looks the back of the car and how simple it is to open the trunk just like that. Here you have some handles uh, right here, manual lift gate, you have some protection. I will take it out. I will show you the way it looks without it. Uh, big entrance, I should say, for the, for the size of the car, the entrance is quite big. Some plastic at the entrance. You have like five centimeter deepness here. Uh, you have the, the, the Bose sound system, by the way, I forget to tell you, in this price, amazing sound. Uh, by the way, here you have a light, normal, bolt light, some hooks, some storage space here. And then under the floor, surprise, is the 48 volt battery for the mild hybrid system. And you have some storage space right there around it, where you can put your stuff, like repair kit and other stuff like that. Some books and wherever but yeah keep in mind there is the battery for the 48 volt system so yeah it has to go somewhere so it's here in the trunk now let me pause the video and take this out and then we will fall down the seats all right guys i almost forget to show you something so when it comes to protection for the trunk not only that you can use it like that but if you are in a place where you have to take it out and you cannot take it out or you cannot put it inside the car I want to show you something really smart. Look how Hyundai think about that. You put it up and then you push it down and you can put it also in this position like that. Look at this. It's something unique, something that I didn't see it before. And it's really smart thing when you, when you need all the space up here, really interesting. And then you can also, of course, take it out completely uh, from here, but you have also this, uh, this option. So now, yeah, let me take it out. Let's just take out that protection, now you can see a little bit better uh, the trunk, the way it looks pretty big, pretty spacious in my opinion for, for the size of the car and for what this car can do, it's, it's, it's quite spacious. Anyway, now the thing is when you want to fold down the seat, you have to fold it 60-40, you, you don't have a middle part that you can fold it down, that's normal in this class, uh, you will not find in other cars, but it's super simple pull it out like this, push it forward, and you have a completely flat floor. This is the great thing, the fact that you have a flat floor here, you can put uh, a lot of stuff. It looks good, also the quality here behind the seats, it's, it's really good. And yeah, relatively big space here uh, to put your stuff. So yeah, nothing to say about that. Also open the door here, you have quite a big entrance. It's practical, you open the door almost 90 degrees and you have a big entrance here. Uh, and let me show you now the way it looks also from this angle. So you can see the space right here in the trunk. Relatively good. 
So you have quite, quite uh, a lot of space. And this is quite flat floor here. Uh, then you have a lot of space behind the seat here. Also another thing that impressed me, you can see how much space you have on the legs room. The transmission tunnel is small. That's a good plus for the car. It's not like we find in other cars. For example, Audi A1 uh, have a big transmission tunnel right there. Also Volkswagen uh, Polo, if I'm not wrong. But you have a lot of space on the, on the legs room there. And also if you go to the door, you can see you have big windows from one pieces right here. And then the door design, it's quite nice, very nice design. The only thing on the door when it comes to the door, uh, it's the fact that you don't have soft material. Everything is made by plastic, but the design, it's incredible nice. I like this uh, speaker right here. We have both sound system you can see the Bose writing here the finger design uh, the same as you find it on the Bion for example you have some cup holders you have even heated seats in the back for the passenger uh, I don't think you find it in other car manufacturer in this class heated seat on the on the back seats let me know guys if you know that in other car I didn't see it it's for the first time when I see it uh, and I review so many cars uh, you have also the handle here with glossy gray plastic uh, what I like it I like the design uh, and I'm impressed to find these heated seats I didn't expect to see that nobody tell me before I see it for the first time and I, I'm, I'm like whoa I really didn't expect that anyway let me put everything back and then we go inside uh, to continuing with the rest Right guys, so when we go inside right now, you will see that uh, the space here is pretty big. Uh, I was also, for the first time when I reviewed this uh, Hyundai i20, the normal version, I was impressed with how much space you have here in the back. And uh, not only that, you don't have any transmission tunnel there and, and it's so, so, so big space on the legs, but also the seats are quite big and are quite comfortable. We have fabric material seats in the back. Also, they come until here on the side. You have kind of a side support. You have these red stitches, kind of a signature for the end line. Isofix for child. Uh, the only downside, you don't have any armrest or cup holders in the middle, but other than that, you have this red insertion here that let you know uh, those are special uh, for the end line. Even in the middle here, I like the fact that you have kind of a flat floor. So even the third person can stay here. I will show you later, we will go to see the space. Behind the front seat, you have stuff material, plenty of space behind the seats here. You have also storage space. If I go inside the car, you will see that down here, we have a USB 2 port and also a space for your phone, the same as on the Hyundai Bion. Let me close the door. A lot of cars here, closing the door. Yeah, sound insulation, quiet and nice. Yeah, the sound insulation for the, for the size of the car, for the class of the car, it is top. Now, let's see the space. This is the space, four or five fingers on my head, relatively good space, visibility, perfect. Nothing to say about visibility, very good visibility. Also, you have a small window here. The tinted windows are perfect for the, for the summer. You can see the sun come here, but it comes really slowly inside the car. I should install, I think I should install on my car as well. You have a handle up here. Also, the roof quality is the same as on the Bion. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, up here, you have a light, normal bulb light. And yeah, let's go in the middle. Here, ah, by the way, I forget to show you the, the knee space. Look at the knee space. This is the space. And uh, yeah, you can stretch up a little bit the legs under the front seat. But other than that, uh, you can see in the front, uh, it's in my driving position, the seats there. And here it's a little bit backward. So I should have a little bit more space, I should say. You can see here, it's even more space now. And here also, plenty of space. I love it. I love the space. And also you can stay with your legs somehow together. That's great because you don't have a big transmission tunnel there. Also on my head in the middle, I have four fingers. That's why I tell you guys, this Hyundai i20, the new version, it's really spacious. On the left side, I stretch my hand. I think almost, almost completely. And also on the right side, it's completely straight. And three people here because you have a flat floor. It's quite comfortable. You can have three people here, I think, without any problem. Not so big people, but definitely um, great space. Great, great space. Um, it's more spacious than, than I was imagining. 
um, before I review it first time. So we will go in the front now, guys. We will talk about the multimedia, about the dashboard, about all things in the front right there. But overall, if you look from here, you can see that the design of the dash, it's quite modern, new, futuristic, look nice. And yeah, anyway, let's go in the front. But guys, going to the door, big windows from one piece. It's great visibility from the interior. I drive the car, I drive two. Uh, version before and it's amazing. I mean the visibility is gorgeous. Uh, this time everything changed in the front even though on the upper side we have plastic here, nice design, handle is nice but on the on the down part right here in this area you can see you have leather, you have red stitches yes and then very good quality you have this red insertion with glossy kind of a glossy plastic handle you have the buttons for electric windows the buttons feel really really good as you touch it good quality electronic adjustment on the mirror folding mirrors super simple you have this uh, speaker right here Bose sound system with speaker and you have some storage space right here quite nice nice design really nice design not so many soft material but very nice design aluminum pedals i love those pedals the pedals look really good really good guys i love them uh, and also they feel good while you're driving uh, the seats are manual adjustment adjustable seats so keep in mind that uh, and if you look at the seats from this angle i hope you can see it really well because of the sun uh, you can see that they are simple fabric material seats, but they have this red insertion side support. They feel really comfortable and you have also an N logo right here. So overall, yeah, they are nice. They are super, super good while you're driving. They are super comfy. Uh, I drive it before. Then you have heated steering wheel, uh, start, stop engine, traction control. Then you have the, the, to adjust to the lights, adjustment for the lights. And then you have those uh, new vents that they feel good they are in plastic but those buttons feel really good when you when you move them then all over the dashboard you have plastic but you have this nice interesting trim that you don't even know it is plastic or what it is until you touch it so overall it's looking good looking good let me go inside the car uh, anyway outside it's quite hot today uh, also, if you look around the windows, as I said before, amazing visibility also in the mirrors, also around the windows. Yeah, look at this. Good visibility everywhere. Also, you can check out one more time the seats in the back. And then here in the middle, you have a center armrest. Uh, you can adjust it. It's kind of a rubber like that. Also, open it up. Some storage space here where you can put your stuff. Uh, and then you have manual handbrake, I like that. Also in leather with red stitches, two cup holders there. And then in the front you have the, the gear shifter right here with N logo on it, with red insertion leather here. It's looking good, looking really good. From here you can shift, uh, lock and release. And then you have those buttons, heated seats in the front, driving modes. Uh, yeah, let me, actually let me show you. Press the brake press the start engine button by the way it's here behind the steering wheel also it comes with a new digital cockpit new multimedia system we will talk about that in a second uh, drive mode by the way from the drive mode you have three driving modes sport echo and comfort so depending which mode you are the car will react accordingly i will explain you that in the drive and the test drive here you have the sensors parking sensors and you have a button for the camera let me go on the other side for the camera and here when you press it you can see the reverse camera let me close that and yeah the camera resolution is not the best in the world but it's do its job perfectly and also you have the possibility to see it like that from up down so for example if you have a trailer or a caravan uh, you can use it but other than that yeah very useful you can charge your phone wireless down there that's awesome and you have a usb port and 12 volt port two usb ports right there and a 12 volt port so that's very useful these days going a little bit upper here we have the climatic system uh, it's very simple to use you have some physical button down here really awesome really useful uh, i like them very much the way it works also you can change the temperature from here um, yeah it's an automatic climatic system also i like those red insertion here i think come from from, from the end line so overall yeah from here you change the vents, speed, 
overall great system uh, and I like very much the dashboard the way they design it it's so unique and new uh, and I like it I like the way they integrate the vents they feel really strong and powerful they feel like you can never broke it they feel like you can hold it forever uh, blinker lock and unlock button here the same lines here that continuing until there where is another vent and down here you have a big glow box with a light it's not an led but yeah it's a light there that's very useful and yeah what can i say guys where were i i was here if you go in reverse of course you know already you have that camera if you go in drive mode you can drive in automatic if you want to have some fun and uh, change the gears manually you can go like this and you can change it down or up uh, or if you want to have some fun in manual mode you have those pedals behind the steering wheel right here so you can change the gears plus and minus from here super simple and I like those uh, pedals they look so nice really cool those pedals look really really interesting um, and small and nice the finger come perfectly right there great you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward let me show you it's pretty hard with one hand but you can do that super simple and then you have the stalks pretty classic stalks for hyundai and the steering wheel it's awesome to be honest is this steering wheel sporty steering wheel from n uh, leather red stitches great grip great quality you have the n logo down here you have the buttons here to control the different function on the cockpit i will show you in a second uh, and then you have the controllers here for the volume uh, for the um, telephone also different uh, modes in the radio uh, it's awesome and also it looks good the way they integrate it here now if we go to the cockpit guys we have the latest this co cockpit that you find it also on the hyundai and other um, on the tucson and other hyundai cars uh, from 2021 now you can see also a lot of information like direction you cannot see the map on the screen but you can see the direction from navigation then here you can see the adaptive cruise control information attention level uh, speed limit and yeah and then if we go forward you can see the consumption on the last kilometers the car is brand almost brand new so yeah what can you expect also you have the timer here and also you have the energy flow because it's a mild hybrid you can see how the energy go back into battery so you can take out some nice consumption also the screen it's it's really really good for this type of car and for the price it's amazing uh, up here guys you have normal bulb light sos button uh, nothing else crazy also a light a normal bulb light and a huge mirror i like those big mirrors from hyundai uh, they did a great job with them and also you can see the mirror up here uh, where you have pretty good visibility in the back there on the windows because you have a big window in the back now guys um, let's talk a little bit about the multimedia system i have a separate video uh, with this multimedia system this is a 10 inch display it's a huge screen to be honest if a few years ago you will buy a car in this class for example uh, the i20 from uh, a few years ago the previous version you will never image to have this kind of cockpit this kind of multimedia system this time it's something else it's it's crazy it's incredible and i love this this screen i love the visibility from the driver's side it's very good uh, and also uh, the screen is a little bit matte i should say on the tucson and on the santa fe ionic 5 uh, it feels a little bit better when you go with the finger but still it's very responsive it's the same system you have the map you have radio you have the blue link you have the settings right here and you can see if you go to the settings you can go very easily in every settings right here you can change the driver uh, information for example uh, driver convenience here the speed limit you can adjust every single uh, settings safety settings from here this is the emergency brake lane assist blind spot technology uh, and parking so you can see how many how many options Cl instrument cluster climatic system the lights the doors and convenience so yeah just i, I just want to show you really fast uh, but i think you already know what you can do with them 
and then you have another settings general settings where you can change the language you can change the system you can see the system information date and time units you can have it in kilometer miles or fahrenheit celsius uh, whatever um, the display here you can adjust it you have the sound because you have the Bose sound system you have amazing sound in this car you can change the position you can e equalizer driving guidance radio driver assistant warning you have you find all the settings right here uh, voice command the buttons you can customize it phone connectivity by the way I know you want to know that uh, you can connect your phone right here um, to the screen the Bluetooth as well and if I'm not wrong guys you can connect even your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but you have to use a cable yes if I remember well where were that I think it's here yes you can you have to use a cable guys that's something to keep in mind anyway you have also some kind of shortcuts down here where it gets you directly to the setup to the media to the radio uh, to the navigation and to the map by the way the navigation is one of the best Hyundai come with this navigation system that it's just gorgeous also on the right side keep in mind you can have something here whatever you want to have you can have it in same time or you can have only the map on the screen like that and it's 2d 3d uh, it's quite responsive and and it's work really good it's updated so uh, it show you the map the streets and the map uh, it's it's really good I mean uh, the the map from Hyundai it's, it's top 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 so that was all guys I love the car to be honest uh, let me close the, the, mo the engine uh, and let's say that let's end up this video by saying that uh, Hyundai in the last years uh, grow very much and I love the way they, they make cars they are really good really good so great job Hyundai from me uh, I want to give it a rating to this uh, new Hyundai i20 N line and from 1 to 10 I will give it a 9 9 will be my my uh, my rating because um, they can add a little bit of um, soft material on the doors but I don't know guys maybe I don't know in this price range it's a great price let me look again so uh, 31,000 new Whew. I, I don't know maybe 9 9.5 I will give it a 9.5 it's, it's a really good car for what it offers I don't compare guys don't, I don't compare it with with cars that cost more than this car I, I give it the rating based on price and offer okay so to keep this in mind so I will give it a 9.5 um, because I think it offers a lot it looks good uh, great rims great brakes by the way you have ventilated brake discs in the front uh, brake discs in the back um, a lot of cool features inside the car safety features multimedia navigation space it's great um, also in the back for the passengers 9.5 I think is, is, is the, the right the right rating Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you get some useful information from this video. If you like it, please like it, share it, I will really appreciate that. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to watch uh, our uh, website sdadancar.com. There you find a lot of videos, information, news, articles about cars. Also, I will leave the link in the, in the description to the car if you want to buy it, if you want to test drive it, if you want to see the, this car, uh, check it out. Also. Tell them, go to Parisi Automobile uh, in the description if you are from Switzerland or around here. Tell them you see my video and you come from me and uh, they will give you a discount for sure. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe, guys. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.